What's up, YouTube? I am back with another reaction video for you, and I promise you, this one's gonna be a banger. Let's get straight into it. What do men prefer? Do you think men prefer a natural body or a BBL? BBL. 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 Do you prefer natural bodies or BBL bodies? Natural. 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 I mean, that's common sense, right? I mean, I, I don't know. I guess social media and, and a lot of women feel like, you know, because of what celebrities want, that's what the average man is looking for, right? The average nine to five worker who, you know, we just love women to be around us. We love women in our orbit. You know, we don't care about that BBL stuff. Say that for the celebrities. That's not, that's not real life. As a matter of fact, it don't even look good. It really doesn't. You know, I can't say that there's some women that don't get it done and it might look natural. But you see, the point is, is that it looks natural. Right? So the, the object is keeping it real for, you know, your men and just be natural. Honestly, most men don't care if there's really nothing back there. We really don't. You know, it, it's fine. Those women get wiped up all the time and it's just fine. We ain't in this BBL stuff, but on to the next video. They started a survey where men and women were asked if they got 80% of everything they want in their ideal mate, would they be happy with that? And women said, no, that's settling. And men said, 80%, I'd be thrilled, that's a catch. And so- 80% you know, to the women you surveyed is settling? That's settling because, you know, the question is, what actually makes us happy in long-term romantic love? And, you know, that's the question that I explore in the book. And I'm a journalist, so I went out and I asked neurobiologists about chemistry, and I asked behavioral economists about demographics, and I asked marital researchers. What are women too picky about here? Well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, men and women were asked what would be a deal breaker for going on a second date. And men named three things. They said she has to be cute enough. She doesn't have to look like Angelina Jolie. She just has to be cute enough. She has to be warm and kind. And she has to be interesting to talk to. Those seem like really valid criteria. Ding, 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 ding. We, Pretty simple. Right. Uh, Okay, reasonable, right? The women came back with 300 things that would rule out a guy for a second date. And we're talking about like another two hours and maybe a free dinner. And they wouldn't do it. And there were things like, he wore a brown belt with black shoes. Or we were having a really good time and I thought he was cute and he was interesting, but then he went, he did this Austin Powers impression and I just can't get that out of my mind and I can't go out with him again. Austin Powers guy could be the love of her love of her love. Wow, so you see, Men are very simple. We're, we're very much like the, okay, you just come as you are. You know, you got to be pretty, you know, at least pretty to me. You don't have to be gorgeous. You don't have to be, you know, like she said, Angelina Jolie, you know, or whoever your, you know, celebrity crush is. You just need to be attractive. That's it. You need to be submissive. You need to make us happy. You need to make us smile. Same thing, vice versa. We don't have 300 requirements. But the biggest requirement any and every man expects from a woman is respect. Tops it all. If you know how to respect a man, you can keep a man. On to the next video. Marriage becomes scary in 2023. It's mostly men saying how they're having to rebuild their life because they had to give so much in this like divorce that they didn't see coming yep. for one reason or another. Now, that happens so often that it like has created the like turn off of people wanting to be married because they're like, if I'm going to be risk, like this level of risk is too much for me. I have a client and he now just started a new hedge fund. But when he got divorced, he gave his wife all the money and the house and he slept in his car for six months. And he's just like, the reason was because I don't want my kid to suffer ever. Right. Ever. I don't want her to see me argue. And I saw the direction it was going with the wives attorney and all that. And like, I was just like, you got it, bro. And left. Because I know somebody too that um, they was married for a decade. And uh, when they got they got divorced because he found out she was cheating on him. So he wanted to divorce. Well, she wanted a divorce to get with the new guy. Uh -huh. And then so he lost the house. She got poor custody of the kids. 
and he had to pay child support. Yeah. And he, he started, and he had to, he told me he like he had a savings, and his savings got completely wiped out for lawyer fees, yep. and giving her money. So he's like, I'm left assed out with nothing. He said, I don't even got no furniture, like yep. nothing. So I'm like, that's a reason, what, what, kind of what you just brought up, but a lot of men these days, they're kind of like, the risk of marriage is just too high. Because if it go, if, if she gets her emotions, or if I don't want to be with her no more, Listen, honestly, marriage is tough. It's not for the weak. It's not for the faint at heart. But here's the thing, right? Uh, it's it's really about choosing the right person. It's about learning how to vet people. You know, 50% of marriages end in divorce. And if you bring that to the black community, 80% of divorces that happen in our community are filed by black women. It's a rough thing, but you know, it's worth it at the end of the day. It's always worth it to give it a shot, especially when you have children. When you're bringing a family into the dynamics, you don't wanna at least give it the best shot. And I feel like that's what we, we lose, right? We lose the opportunity to say, we gave it a shot. We tried, at, at bare minimum, we tried. So, I mean, it's hard. And, um, you know, a lot of men, we lose out in marriage almost 80% of the time. You know, and, and that's usually because the man is usually the caretaker. The man usually pays the bills. And, you know, when I say caretaker, I mean financially taking care of the family. The woman will be the take, caretaker of the house. So she doesn't really have an income. So when the divorce happens, who loses? It's going to be us. So, I would say before you get married, understand marriage. Know that it's a contract. Understand the odds of it ending in divorce and then make the choice wisely. It doesn't mean marriage is a bad thing. It just means you need to choose wisely. But okay, on to the next video. To a guy that claims to be interested in dating you and you say something like oh i'm going to get my nails done or my hair i'm going to the mall and he does not offer to send you money to contribute to that you need to block him and you need to block him quickly okay we don't have time to be talking to men that cannot contribute to our lives even in the smallest of ways not in this economy so i realize that a lot of these young ladies they, they have daddy issues um a lot of them i uh, realize is that they really are looking for somebody to take over from their fathers if they even had fathers in the home but what they're looking for is a replacement so that way they could just live this soft life and do nothing girl go to work it's not hard just go to work just get up do something you even gotta do nothing you know that's gonna break your body down go out there and sit behind a desk at a call center do something make some money stop depending on men for everything right a man is only solely supposed to provide for his wife, not just any random woman out there. Get a job. On to the next video. Man. Know that you are enough. Know that I will always, always, always. Okay, so I'm the original creator behind Affirmations for Black Men. It's been really surreal watching a white woman copy everything that you're doing word for word, bar for bar. If you're in the black community, you understand that the relationship between black men and black women is broken. If you're in the black community, you understand why it's broken, the history of it being intentionally broken. And you understand that we're being targeted. And the purpose of having a page called Affirmations for Black Men and it being black women's affirming black men is a healing mechanism um, as the original creator if you guys can go and flood the comments of dr umar's last post tag me and make sure that people are aware of her rape of my content i'm sick to my stomach fan Yo, real talk i don't disagree with her that's that's kind of off the chain i mean listen you can have a love for another race without having to steal someone else's idea to make it yours. I understand like, you know, there is a thing where white women solely love black men and vice versa, you know, and that goes for black women loving white men. 
you know, it happens and it, 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 it's off, it's common, right? But the thing is, if you're going to do it, just do it. You don't have to go and take somebody else's thing to gain some type of traction of what you want. Be original. That was whack. You stealing this young lady's stuff, you know, that's that's her thing. So, you know, I disagree with her, her trying to steal it, but we're going to move on to the next video. I like it when you stay consistent. <laughs> I find I fit inside your grip so much better when you don't go missing. And I like it more when you come to me. I mean, you the man. Okay. Show me how you want me to take your lead. And I like how I feel when you set the tone. No little boy games. It's different when you're dealing with somebody who mentality grown. And you know what else I like? I like when you move in a way that I can remind you that you really him. Pedestals was made for trophies, so put me up somewhere that I can help you win. And I always been a little baby, but I ain't never been known to listen. But you got my interest as to why I should be submissive. I want to know why I should give you all that power. Get vocal about me and watch me love you louder. I don't know. I just like it when you be consistent. It give me a good reason not to go missing. <laughs> Yo, so I had to play that one. That one was just for y'all to really see that there are women out there. There's a lot of like um, women bashing and you know, I'm not taking away from the fact that men have been bashed through media, through, you know, the internet, through everything for years, back when Oprah started, but even before then. And black men is, in particular have been trashed in the media since the birth of a nation, you know? And even before that, we were always emasculated. But, fellas, there's good women out there. There's good women out there that have good intentions. And they're going to be with you, not because of what you could do for them, but because they want to be with you. Take heed. And, 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 and like I said, this is the woman that you will want to find. And you don't play games with her. You actually make her a wife. Don't have her sitting on the market forever. Don't waste her time. Honestly, accountability does fall on her. She allows you to waste her time. But don't waste her time. It's not worth it. You have a woman showing you everything that you need to feel respected and to feel comfortable in your manhood. Get her off the market. On to the next video. So y'all tell me, am I the asshole because I ordered my food before my day arrived to the restaurant? Okay, it may yes. seem like I'm a fat ass. I know. But honestly, fuck that shit. Like I've mm. always been the type, if I'm hungry, I'm gonna eat. I don't care if Boo Boo on the second row hasn't gotten her plate yet. But it's not about that. Anyway. So I've been talking to this guy online, right? It's going great. Again, that's not the point. So it's our first date and we agreed to meet at 9 p.m. By the time I'm done getting off work and shit, you know, I go home, get ready. I arrive like 45 minutes earlier. I haven't eaten all day for different reasons. You know, food is not the reason why I'm going out anyway. I decide to order my plate. The time that I'm done and the drinks arrive, my date arrived in two. So we meet up y'all and everything's going great, okay? Chemistry on point. I'm imagining what second date is gonna look like. He gets ready to order his food. I tell him like, no, go ahead. You good? I'm, I'm good. So the waiter comes. My date is just asking, you know, like, what's good? What's good on the menu? Waiter's like, oh, your date had the tacos. Maybe you want to try those. Immediately, he gets upset. Like, I explained to him like, yeah, I already ate before you got here. Like instantaneously, matter than he already got. He finishes his food and leaves. Never hear from him again. Anyway, yeah, y'all let me know. Am I the asshole? Why would you even play those games if, if if you go out to eat with someone and the person's supposed to be sitting down with you, eating with you? Why would you even do that? Honestly, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even pay for your food. It wouldn't even go down like that. But anyways, crazy video. I love it. Listen, please like, comment and subscribe. I need to get into the algorithm. YouTube pushes us out with the more likes that we can get. Take care of your boy. Look out. Like I said, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Hang out and hustle. <laughs>